with each robot allowed to have either a cube or a cone in their possession at the beginning of the autonomous period, we can already see that Red Alliance has scored. Both Red and Blue Alliance trying to get that docked and engaged. Not quite enough for Red Alliance. They'll have to make up for those points in the end game to try to get that activation bonus. Team 1425, unafraid of going over that charge station on their way to place their cone on the node. Doesn't quite make it there, but it still scores them a couple of points. Meanwhile, on the other side of the field, 2990, that's Hotwire, currently our number two ranked team, just placing it gingerly in their grid. Team 4043, that's the Nerd Herd. They've got quite a fast robot. They can't seem to score much higher than just that lower zone, but it does work. It still scores them points, and they did just complete a link. Remember, they need at least five links to try to get that sustainability bonus for another ranking point. 1425, placing another cube up in that top row while Nerd Herd continues to work. Unfortunately, it looks like 957 took a big hit in the middle of the field and is unresponsive. 6343, doing what they can to try to work on a link on the other side of Blue Alliance. Teams are trying to get as many links as they can, as many points as they can. Looks like 957 is back in this, although they've just lost connection one more time. Team 3674, that's the Cloverbots. Looks like they're over there trying to score a point for their for the Red Alliance. Putting a cube into the platform in the cooperation place. That's gonna get that cooperation bonus. Both teams only needing four links to get the ranking point. Not sure if either team is going to get it. Red Alliance trying to quickly get three robots on their charge station. Blue Alliance content with two. Few adjustments from 1425. Not quite there. And it looks like they're able to do it. Shouts from the Red Alliance side of the field. And the winner is going to be Red Alliance.